Hey guys, it's Gita. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this holiday inspired uh, cranberry, I guess, look using the Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette. And I'm doing all voiceover. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> going right in, I'm priming my eyes using Max Painterly Paint Pot, which is what I always use. And I always blend this out with my fingers. You can use a brush as well. Um, then I'm going in with my Delium 769 to do a base shade and using Molder all over the lids and up to the brow bone. Then I'm using the shade Skulls to highlight same brush. Basically just taking that to the outer brow bone just to brighten that area up a little bit. Then I'm going in with the 776 and Noble and that will be my transition shade into the crease and I'm just blending that out. Then I'll be using Analog, which is orange color. It's super pigmented. So as you can see, I'm just dotting a little on. I basically want to warm up that crease. Um, a tiny bit of product goes a really long way, so I tried not to overdo it here. <laughs> so I'm basically just blending that back and forth with the same 776 brush and just kind of bringing that up a little above the crease and buffing the color out um, just back and forth and onto the lid as well. And just keep blending. <laughs> then I'm going with a 785 by Delium, which is a really big fluffy blending brush. Um, basically just to buff the orange color into the brow bone color so everything looks really smooth. Um, I love this brush for blending. I just did a review on the Delium brushes if you're interested. Um, going in with the shade Harpsichord, back with a 776 brush. Um, buffing in that onto the lid and into the crease as well, just blending it back and forth. So that's like a shimmery copper color. It's kind of just warms everything up. Um, and just kind of with that 785, I'm just buffing those colors back and forth and just blending them out. And I'm gonna be tight lining, mostly concentrating that onto the outer corner, like the sort of outer half of my eye. I'm not really worrying about bringing it all the way to the inner corner. Um, then I'm going in with the 781 brush in the color Vox, which is a deep brown. And I'm concentrating that on the outer corner of my eye and I'm buffing it into the crease as well. But I'm not bringing it too far to the center of my lids. I basically want to keep it just on the outside just to create some dimension and some depth there. And then I'm buffing that color just back and forth using the same brush just to blend that into the other colors that are on my lid and crease. Going in with that 785 brush again, just blending back and forth, and I basically just want to make sure there are no harsh lines towards the outer corner of my eye. I'm not doing any winged liner with this look, so I don't want any messy shadows on the outer edge. Then I'm going in with the 755 brush in the shade Rewind, which is this like cranberry, shimmery color, and putting that on my lid. This is not the most pigmented color, as you can see. I mean, it is pigmented, but it's not the most um, deep color, I guess, of the bunch. So you could put a base under this if you wanted it to really pop. I wasn't going for a super, super dark look. I'm okay with it being a little bit more subtle. I put about two layers of eyeshadow on and I just blended back and forth using the same brush, kind of just layered it over itself and just blended back and forth. Then I'm taking that 785 brush again, buffing out the edges. Uh, basically, I just want that sort of cranberry color to kind of mix into the, color, the colors that I have already on my crease and to my brow bone. Um, the 772 brush I'm taking to use the highlight skulls color, and I'm just putting that to the inner corner of both eyes and blending out, just kind of blending it back and forth just to buff it in. Um, the taking the 785 again, just buffing all those colors together. As you can see, I love that brush. <laughs> and then I'm taking my Stila liner. Not doing a wing liner again, I'm just doing kind of a small line of liquid liner. I'm going to be using mink lashes and they have a fairly noticeable band, so I just find that it helps to do um, some liner with it. So I'm just curling my lashes, applying some mascara here. Um, I'm using the CoverGirl Supersizer, I think it's called. Doesn't really matter because I'm putting lashes on. Um, the lashes that I'm using are by Blinking Butte. They are the number ones. This is the first time ever that I use them and oh my god, they are absolutely amazing. So I put them on off camera. That's what the lashes look like. Then I'm going back in with the 781 brush. It still has some product on it. So I'm actually just taking what's left on it and going to my lower lash line and just kind of blending it out. So I use the brown shade on that brush 
And then I'm going in with a 716 in the shade Harpsichord. This is like a pretty small pencil brush, so this is really good for the lower lash line. And I'm basically just applying a thick line of that um, all the way from the outer to the inner corner. Um, just kind of making sure, I'm trying to avoid fallout, that's why I'm kind of doing this slowly. So, kind of packing on the color and then I'm bl gonna blend it out after. So, going back with the 781, the pencil brush, just kind of buffing out where I place that color and also kind of blending all the way to the outer side. So I want to make sure that there's no like harsh lines on the end of my eye. Um, I'm gonna tight line, not tight line, I'm gonna put eyeliner on just the outer half of my eye. And I'm going back in with the 755, which is what I used with Rewind before, taking more of that Rewind color, and I just am placing that on, again, the outer corner. So about the outer half of my lower lash line, and I'm just kind of buffing that into where the liner is. Um, I'm not going super, super smoky with this look, but this just creates a little bit of dimension to the lower lash line. I'm cleaning up that fallout with that 785 brush, just kind of sweeping the, the powder away, and just kind of blending out the outer corner of my eyes as well. Um, also putting some mascara on the bottom lashes, whatever mascara you like, totally fine. That is the completed eye look. Then I'm gonna do some face stuff. I did put my foundation on. I'm highlighting using the Cover FX Moonlight Highlight and a Dillium 965 brush, which I talked about this in my last video, which was about Dillium brushes. I will link that down below. And I just like to highlight my cheekbones, my cupid's bow. Then I'm going in with Tarte's Park Avenue Princess Bronzer on a NARS Eda brush. Um, slightly contouring, just putting a little to the upper cheekbones and the outer perimeters of my face. That I'm using Max Breath of Plum Brush Blush. <laughs> Max Breath of Plum Blush on an It Cosmetics Blush Brush. I like a lot of blush, you guys, like a ridiculous amount of blush. So obviously you do not have to apply as much blush as I did. This is very pigmented. <laughs> you can also use a fluffier brush. On my lips, I'm going in with Max Night Moth Liner, which is like a deep uh, purple shade. And I am basically lining my lips open up my lips to kind of get the edges here. You can also, after lining, you can blend in with a lip brush. I didn't do that, but I basically just lined like half of my lips. And then I'm going in with my liquid lipstick, which is Trust Issues by Anastasia, and putting that over the liner. Um, off camera, I kind of did like apply another layer of this and kind of like blend it in just to make everything really cleaned up, but that is kind of the last step here. So that is it, you guys. That is the completed look. and. Sorry I did all voiceover, I'm just really awkward with my <laughs> intro and outro, so I thought this would be easier. Thanks so much for watching, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day! <laughs> Bye!